Yo, what's up, people? I'm Trey. This is Games Over Entertainment right here, and thank you for tuning in to my February 2014's video game releases. So, yeah, we got quite a few games coming out this month. Let's go ahead and hop on into it. Now, a game that may be out right now is Loadout, and it's coming to the PC. It's a free-to-play shooter game, third-person shooter, that looks a lot like Borderlands with customizable characters, customizable weapons, and even experience points so you can level up your characters and probably unlock new and more stuff. So, yeah, it looks pretty fun. I checked out the trailer, and I'm definitely going to be playing this one because it looks pretty awesome. And I don't know if I'll be able to show gameplay because my PC recording skills are, in, in, you know, not that good. But you know what? Go ahead and check that out. At least check out the trailer if you don't know what the game's about. And then next up on February 4th, we got Fable Anniversary coming to exclusively to the Xbox 360. This is a re-release based on the original Fable game. This was released on the original Xbox. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be copying in this one. You know, if you've seen my Xbox history video, you know how I feel about Fable. And uh, if it wasn't for that game, I probably wouldn't be playing Xbox games today. So yeah, if it looks anything close to the PC version, then I will be pleasantly enjoying this game, okay? And it's also word out that the Fable Trilogy is supposed to be released, but there's no specific date on that, either 4 or for the 7. And it's supposed to be incorporation of Fable 1, Fable 2, and Fable 3, all in just one package. So, yeah, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get the Fable Anniversary, because I don't care about the second and third game too much. They're dirt cheap right now. If you want to get those, you can just get them on 360 already. So, it's no improvement, no extra levels, just probably get you all the DLC. So, uh, that's not enough to warrant the extra price tag, so... Next up, we got the Lego Movie Video Game, also coming on the 4th, and this is coming to Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So basically everything except cell phones, okay? And this is a game based off, uh, a movie based off a game based off a toy. So yes, the Lego line goes pretty far down as to what they're doing, and looks like they're releasing a the game every quarter, so they're getting pretty addictive with these Lego video games. But you know what? If it don't make dollars... It don't make sense. And this game makes a lot of sense, man. Because these kids, they eat this up. They eat this Lego stuff up. And um, on the 4th, we got the PS3. Come to the PS3. We got Adam's, Adam's Venture Chronicles. Which, uh, you know, I don't know too much about this game. But it is a, uh, a puzzle platformer uh, adventure game that's based off a PC game. So this is actually poured off from the PC. And uh, it looks it looks okay. And on February 5th, we have Outlast, a survival horror video game coming to the PS4. So PS4 members have something new to play, which I am thankful for. And uh, this game is actually made by the same people who put together Prince of Persia, Assassin's Creed, Splinter Cell, and Uncharted. So yeah, it has a pretty good roster. It's a port over from the PC. It was originally released on uh, September 4th, 2013, and looks like it's going to be pretty nice on the PlayStation 4. So go ahead and look at that. On February the 7th, we have Bravely the Fall coming to the Nintendo 3DS. And this game right here, I'm actually pretty excited to play, but I can't play it because I don't own a 3DS. I don't do handheld gaming, but it looks like it's very similar to the JRPGs that I loved back in the day. And it's, it's basically pulling off of the Final Fantasy series right here. And, uh, damn, I want to play this game, but I can't. But yeah, Bravely the Fall coming to the 3DS on the 7th. On February the 11th, we have Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13, and this is coming to PS3 and Xbox 360. So the story of Final Fantasy 13 continues with Lightning Returning. Well, I just basically repeat the title, but I have checked out the demo, the demo, and I uh, I actually don't know what the hell's going on. And as far as Final Fantasy 13 goes, I got about halfway through the game, and then I end up quitting. And uh, looks like they're returning to this new environment, and they got snow coming back in, lightning coming back in. They all taking up new roles. Looks like in the way distant future, and I really don't know what's going on. Look, we got some costume changes for lightning going on, but uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen Returns is out there if you're interested. Uh, next up on the P on the PlayStation Vita and PSP, uh, we got Toki Tokiden: The Age of Demons. And this game right here, the, at least the artwork in itself reminds me a lot of Azura's Wrath. Which was released like a while back, but yeah, it looks like you got a super powered uh, humanoid type character fighting some really huge demon, demon, and uh, demonic monsters. I can't even talk, but yeah, it's coming down to the PlayStation Vita, uh, One Piece Romance Dawn on the 3DS coming on the 11th as well. And this game right here has already been released in Japan, and now our One Piece American fans have something to enjoy. Now this game is actually based on the uh, the manga, you know, based on the anime and all that good stuff. So yeah, you're a One Piece fan, that's something you want to look into right there. 
All right, and on February 14, we have Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc, coming to the PlayStation Vita. Now, I have checked out that Danganronpa anime, and I have to say, it's a pretty interesting show with a pretty interesting concept. You got some high schoolers going to this school for gifted children, but it ends up being a survival of the fittest type deal, and everybody has to kill each other to be like the last man standing. So... Yeah, it's not for kids. Definitely not for kids. And uh, got some pretty interesting plot twists up in there. So that is going to be a pretty cool game for the PS Vita to have. On February 18th, we have Earth Defense Force 2025 coming to the PS3 and Xbox 360 console. So this game right here is basically a third-person shooter where you get to pick four different character classes and you get to come in with like two different type of weapons, you know, assault rifles, missile launchers, SMGs, stuff like that, and you get to fight some alien forces. Next on the block, we got Rayman Legends coming to PS4 and Xbox One. This is a port over from the uh, seventh generation going to the eighth generation. So, you know, you like adventure platformers, Rayman Legends is definitely for you. Vantage coming to the PC. This is a city building uh, strategy game coming exclusively to PC on the 18th. Um, can't get any more information out of that, but NASCAR 14 also coming on the 18th. And you know, you get to play with your favorite NASCAR racers and their favorite advertised vehicles. Yeah, get the little driving NASCAR in that one. But yeah, NASCAR 14 on the 18th. On February 20, we have Men of War Assault Squad 2 coming exclusively to PC. And this is a real time tactic strategy game set in the World War II setting and era. And you get to play as your favorite character that you all know and love. Psych, I don't know, because I can't get no more information about this game, but it's coming to PC. There you go. That's enough information right there. And coming up on the 24th, we have that side-scrolling platform game that you all know and love, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And this one's coming exclusively to the Wii U, if you haven't known. Wii U got Donkey Kong on wraps, and uh, don't really know too much about this one right here. I used to love Donkey Kong back in the day. I'm talking about Super Nintendo, even N64. They had one of the best N64 games. And you know what? Uh, hopefully this one can follow up in soup. Because the Wii U needs some good games, okay? They are seriously lacking in the game department. But yep, that's the Wii U game for the months right there. And also on the 24th, we got Ramble the video game coming to Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. So yeah, the Rambo video game. What's interesting about this is that it follows the story of the Rambo movies to like a T. And uh, you know, you got John Rambo and he's being voiced by Sylvester Stallone. Which, you know, is like the best voice actor ever, you know, but not really. But, you know, Sylvester Stallone is going to cause some real nostalgia with the Rambo series. So if you're a fan of that stuff, I suggest you check that one out. February 25th, Castlevania Lord of Shadows 2. Finally, a sequel for this game of Lord of Shadows 1. And it's coming to Windows platform, PS3, and Xbox 360. Also on the 25th, we have Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare coming to the Xbox One and Xbox 360. This is going to be like a third person tower defense type of game where you have competitive multiplayer and you can be actually the uh, the zombies or you can be the uh, the plants. So that's going to be pretty cool, especially in an online multiplayer scene. So and then and something else for the Xbox One too. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles coming to PS3. Uh, this game, I love the Tales series. They have they make some excellent uh, RPGs and this one right here will probably be no different. I'm going to go ahead and check out the trailer for this after it's done and see what, it, what it's all about in depth. Thief, coming also on the 25th to the Windows, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. So Thief, we saw this game at uh, E3 last summer and it looked pretty interesting, man. It's a stealth game involving espionage and, you know, you play this Thief type character who steals stuff, obviously. He's a thief. But yeah, the screenshots and the visuals, they look really stunning and I can't wait to check this out. You know, Thief was originally, like, the first version was only a PC-only game. Never got a chance to play it. Always had some cool artwork and stuff like that. So, I'm going to definitely look into this game when it comes out. And finally, on February 28th, we have Divinity Original Sin being released for the Windows platform. And this game is a uh, takes place in the Divinity universe. It's a fantasy role-playing game that is single-player and cooperative multiplayer. So, it puts you in that environment. And, you know, it's a turn-based combat system. Uh, sometimes I played one of the Divinity games and it was pretty good. Resident Evil HD uh, Ultimate Edition is coming out too. Uh, you may want to look into that. It's basically a port over for the Windows platform, so you get those HD graphics, high end uh, resolutions, and stuff like that for the Windows PC. Resident Evil 4 has been out for a minute. It's a classic right there. 
definitely check that out if you're into Resident Evil games. Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy coming to the 3DS. Okay, so I don't know anything about this game. Let me read about it. It's a puzzle game developed by Level 5 Studios for Nintendo 3DS. Uh, it's the third part of a trilogy, and uh, yeah, it's a puzzle game. So, yeah, check that out at your discretion. So we also got some unannounced things for the month of Fairway that I will be anticipating and I'm expecting. I'm talking about The Wolf Among Us Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors, and I'm also talking about The Walking Dead a Season 2 Episode 2. Those are both supposed to be released this month. I mean, so hopefully Telltale doesn't push it back too far. As long as we get it within the first two weeks before Valentine's Day, I won't be complaining. But yo... I can't wait to get my hands on those games and also people, people, I know this isn't a game release, but we got the Titanfall beta definitely coming 2014. It's been confirmed by the studio and uh, it's coming to uh, PC and Windows platforms. So yo, Titanfall beta is going to be in the mix. I'm definitely going to be looking at that and I can't wait to get my hands on it, dog. Yo, that's all the releases I got for this month, guys. Uh, 2014 February is looking like a very good month to be a gamer. Definitely gonna be checking out quite a few titles. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit me with a thumbs up and subscribe below if you want to check out some of my gameplay of some of these games that I said I'm gonna purchase. So yep, that's it guys, and I'm out of here. Peace out.